Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com for premium picks, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about something we need to talk about more. And it's the uh, flaw in how to score a fight. Right now, before I begin, to put everything in context, <clears throat> let me say that I was struck this morning by an article that I read on BoxingScene.com in which Ray Mancini from those back in the 1980s, yes, this is Ray Boom Boom Mancini, compares Floyd Mayweather, who he loves, to a fighter from his era, Sugar Ray Leonard. Here's the quote, it deserves your attention. He says he, Mayweather, is very special talent-wise. And he'll go down as one of the great fighters of all time. There's no doubt. He does things that Ray Leonard couldn't do. But the difference is, he would never beat Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard knew how to close the show. Ray Leonard wanted to take you out. He wanted to annihilate you. He wanted to hurt you. This kid doesn't have that. This kid will slap you to death for 12 rounds, but he's not going to engage if he don't got to. And that's the difference. Right, so I started thinking about a fight between Ray Leonard and Floyd Mayweather. Right now, in my opinion, there are pluses on both sides. But what I believe we would all agree on is that Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather is much more dominant inside than Sugar Ray Leonard. Right? I believe that the first Roberto Duran, Ray Leonard fight, where Duran takes apart Ray Leonard on the inside could never have happened at any portion of Floyd Mayweather's career. Right? Mayweather's just too good inside. Right? Mayweather and Duran would have been playing chess. Right? Duran was great inside. Floyd Mayweather is great inside. Right? If Duran pinned Mayweather up on the ropes, I think Mayweather would have held his own. I know there are critics who are going to say, what about the Castillo fight? Fair enough. But let me say this. Mayweather today certainly would be able to handle Roberto Duran on that side of the ring. Right? There is no one better in the sport today with his back up against the ropes than Floyd Mayweather. He encourages it. He has you walking into things. Ask Ricky Hatton. Right? Mayweather is deadly up on the ropes. Let me also make the point that in the middle of the ring, Mayweather's deadly there too. In other words, this isn't a situation where Mayweather has to lay up on the ropes against a Roberto Duran. No, Mayweather could get off the ropes. And in the middle of the ring, dole out punishment. Mayweather really is the master chess player in the sport. If you look at the first two rounds of his fight against Robert Guerrero, who's also one of the sport's best chess players, you're going to see that Mayweather doesn't run those first two rounds, and he's dissecting Robert Guerrero. In fact, if you think about Mayweather against Shane Mosley, after a rocky beginning where Mayweather gets hit with a straight right hand, almost goes down, you're going to see that Mayweather rides the ship. He doesn't use a lot of movement against Shane Mosley. He methodically takes apart that future Hall of Famer. Right? So my point simply this. 
Mancini's right in that Mayweather has some skills Ray Leonard did not have, right? I'll agree that Mayweather was beating up Duran in the rematch by keeping it in the middle of the ring. My point is simply, Ray Leonard backed up against a master inside fighter with his back up against the ropes had problems that Floyd Mayweather would not have. Now that said, there's a problem Mayweather would have and it's a big problem, right? If you're a judge, you're supposed to be counting the punches landed cleanly and the quality of the punches landed cleanly, right? You're supposed to be counting to, you know, um, who's dictating the fight, the ring generalship. Here's the problem, right? Mayweather is respected. Sugar Ray Leonard was loved. There's a difference between a guy who's a master technician like Floyd Mayweather and a guy who's a showman. You know, my point to you is simply life's unfair. Some guys have personalities that for whatever reason they connect with the crowd. Right? I don't believe Floyd Mayweather is built to connect with the crowd. He's not a guy who can raise his hands and make faces in the middle of a round and have the crowd go crazy. The crowd realizes his greatness. But they don't treat him like they would treat an Ali or a Ray Leonard. Right now, Ray Leonard was more of a combination puncher than Floyd Mayweather on his best day. Right? Ray Leonard is that rare fighter who, quite frankly, probably beats Mayweather in terms of hand speed, certainly when you factor in the volume. Even if they had the same hand speed, Ray Leonard would probably look faster in the ring hand speed wise than Floyd Mayweather. Right? Leonard could lead. Leonard could come in and throw a combination. There are times in his fight against Thomas Hearns, the first one, where Ray Leonard looks like a Popeye cartoon. He seems to have three or four hands going at the same time. Right? Combination punchers are just flashier than technicians. Right? Not more effective, necessarily. Right? Not more effective necessarily, but flashier. Right? So I believe that what Floyd would have problems with against Ray Leonard isn't anything technical. Because I believe Floyd can handle Ray's volume. Right? I believe Floyd is better than Ray on the inside. I believe defensively, Floyd Mayweather has no peers. Right? The problem is the charisma gap and it's huge and of course Ray Leonard's style fit his charisma he's on the outside throwing combinations he had spectacular body movement by the way as an aside Vitaly Klitschko's favorite fighter in history is Sugar Ray Leonard Right? You can actually see it in Vitaly because the two guys are the same. You throw on Ray Leonard and Ray sometimes wouldn't put a hand up. He would just roll and lean back, make you miss, move from the waist up. Vitaly Klitschko does that a lot. Right? He's not in a shell. This is the unshelled fighter. Right? You're throwing. He's just rolling with punches. Now my point is this. Whether that's more effective then let's say a Floyd Mayweather style, well Mayweather has a shell, right? Mayweather has his hands up and his bobbing. Whether the open Ray Leonard use your upper body style defensively is more effective than Floyd Mayweather style isn't the point, right? I don't believe it is. I think Mayweather is great defensively. But the problem is it's more effective 
with the crowd. It looks better, right? When you couple that with a guy who's charismatic, right, who the fans not only connect with and recognize the greatness, but who also like personally, regardless of what the guy is doing outside the ring, right? When you marry those things, you have a big problem for a low-volume opponent like Floyd Mayweather, right? Let me just say, Muhammad Ali in the 70s once showed up to a press conference with a gorgeous woman. There was some writer in the stand who apparently turned to someone and said, wow, you know, I didn't realize Ali's wife was so pretty. And of course, it wasn't Ali's wife. Ali was married at the time, but the woman he was with was not his wife, right? Now today, that would be a scandal. In the 1970s, Ali has his mistress there in full public view. The press loved him, right? Ray Leonard has written a book talking about how he had a major zipper problem, right? Ray Leonard was married. Ray Leonard was also out running the streets. Now, all I'm saying is this, life is filled with double standards, right? Ray Leonard probably ran the streets more, stayed out later, um, you know, partied more than Floyd Mayweather, right? Keep in mind, Floyd doesn't drink. For all the money persona, Floyd's actually a pretty straight-laced guy. Right? Floyd's not running the streets like Ray Leonard did. But for some reason, fans loved him. I can tell you in the 1980s, there was no question when Ray Leonard was fighting Marvin Hagler who the public was rooting for. Right? In an earlier generation, right, you have Sugar Ray Robinson, great fighter. He owned a nightclub in Harlem. He hung out at that nightclub in Harlem. Fans loved him. Now we're finding out from very good sources like his wife at the time that Ray Robinson had big time demons. I believe some people around him at the time suspected it. But it didn't matter because there was some part of his persona that made him likable. I believe if Floyd Mayweather were to fight Ray Leonard, I believe technically Floyd Mayweather would more than hold his own. I can't say that Sugar Ray Leonard is better than Floyd Mayweather. But what I can say is that Ray Leonard was more charismatic. Right? There's a generation out there, talk to the guys who are 50 and older, who remember his popularity. And the problem is, if he's fighting a guy, and Ray Leonard's doing things like shuffling his feet, right, throwing combinations, dodging punches by just leaning backwards, smiling at the crowd, right? He had, you know, Angelo Dundee, a trainer who was more colorful, quite frankly, than either Roger Mayweather or Floyd Mayweather, right? All I'm saying is it would be interesting if Leonard fought Floyd. And if it were a close fight, it would be interesting how the judges scored the fight. Let me go one step further. It would be interesting how the crowd scored the fight. Right? Life's unfair. And if you broke the fight down, you might even realize that Floyd Mayweather did more than Ray Leonard. There's a whole generation, a whole group out there who are firmly of a belief that Marvin Hagler won the fight against Ray Leonard. Didn't matter. Last 30 seconds of rounds, Ray Leonard lets his hands go. Never hurts Hagler. Right? Never hurts Hagler, who's actually the aggressor in the fight. Never hurts him. But of course, you see the flashiness. You see Ray wave at the crowd. You see him dancing around. People were enthralled. Right? So there's a charisma gap with Floyd Mayweather that I believe would show itself against, let's say, Ray Robinson or Ray Leonard. I'm not saying Floyd technically gets beaten by either. 
But of course, isn't the ultimate judge the court of public opinion? It's a flaw you need to think about with every fight, right? There are charismatic boxers out there right now, right? Manny Pacquiao comes to mind, who for whatever reason connect with fans, right? You need to always consider that when you're judging their fights. You know, on one final note, I'll say this. I was looking at Olympic gold medalist, James DeGale. In my opinion, a great fighter. Fight George Groves. And as I was watching the fight, I thought DeGale did more. I'm not alone, right? The Times of London thought DeGale did more. I thought DeGale did more than George Groves. But there was a gap in that fight. Right, George Groves is there dancing around. Fans like underdogs. DeGale, personality-wise, isn't warm and cuddly. Right? Before the fight, even I, someone who admires DeGale, thought some of DeGale's lines were out of line. So as I was watching the fight, and I see Groves heroically, at times, dancing around, throwing a jab, coming in with some power shots, right? You could sense as that fight was going on that in rounds in which DeGale did more, right? 10-9 rounds for DeGale. The crowd thought it was 10-9 for Groves. You could just sense, you know, fights are different when you see replays, but you could just sense that the technical brilliance was actually being overshadowed by the charisma gap. Let's not sell the charisma gap short. George Groves beat the Gale that night on the scorecards, and of course, that's what's in the books. I believe Floyd Mayweather, as great as he is, and he's truly a great fighter, right? I mean, he is a great fighter. Right? He's typically outweighed by 10 pounds in his fights. Right? And he's the kind of guy who the skill gap is obvious. He could look at Oscar De La Hoya and actually smile at him in the middle of that fight knowing that he has him timed. Right? He's truly a great fighter. The problem is, in history, you've had great fighters who've had more charisma. Right against a Ray Robinson or a Ray Leonard, that charisma gap could cost Mayweather on the scorecards. Let me hear from you. Thanks for watching.